There was an earthquake in August of 2011 that incurred about $34 million of damage on the building. And as you can see from this pinnacle here, it did things like twist and loosen these pinnacles uh, such that they put them in a real state of uh, peril. And we've had to disassemble a lot of these and get them down on the ground. But the scaffold has been put in place to address some of the earthquake repairs that we have. So the north transept was constructed in the 1930s. And actually, this earthquake repair scaffold is giving us access to areas that have not been touched by human hands since the original construction in the 1930s. Basically, when the earthquake occurred, the energy released through these pinnacles, these slender pinnacles that are attached stone on stone, and all that's really holding these together outside of the mortar and the gravity are some alignment pins. And you'll see in some of these locations where the stones have rotated that it's actually sheared off the alignment pins, or the stone itself popped up and skipped over the alignment pins. Uh, so that, as a result, is why you can see that this pinnacle, at least on the top two stones, are held together. But by the time you got to the joint between the second and the third stone, you can see it's slightly rotated and it's very unstable. Our stone carvers, Andy Ewell and Sean Callahan, are carving the six replacement units in our shop here on site. The ones that remain in place are going to be reinforced by core drilling down through the length of them and inserting a three-quarter inch stainless steel rod. The ones that are separated or cracked at the lug, like you see here, a horizontal hole is going to be drilled through and into the core of the pinnacle, and another rod is going to be installed through this area here, thus tying it into the core, tying it into the pinnacle. The reason why it's so important to be a good steward of this historic building and implement all the repairs and take care of the building fabric is because our building is really uh, an integral part and goes hand in hand with the mission of all that occurs within our walls. So what you see here is the way this pinnacle spun like a top. It actually hopped up onto the pins that, that aligned it and then it spun counterclockwise. The crane will be pulling this entire piece off, this 2,500 pound piece off. It'll expose the top of this course here. And the drilling rig will be set up on top of this pinnacle and the three inch hole will be bored about 20 feet down into the core of this pinnacle where the stainless steel rod will be inserted in the hole and then a special grout will be pumped into the hole and into any cavities that may remain within the pinnacle and the rod will actually stick up from the top here and this piece will be put back on top of it. We are a handcrafted historic landmark in the highest spot in Washington and we continue to be a reminder of spiritual inspiration in a secular city. It would just be great to be able to continue working here and repairing this building and seeing it one day be whole once again.